Okay, today, hi, I'm Sabino, and this is the Fair Size D Elementary GT Podcast. I'm here with... Ryan Rubel. And... Benjamin Minkina. Today, they're going to talk about... What are you guys going to talk about? We're going to uh, review, uh, re- review the um, 1998 game Half-Life. Okay, pretty, sounds pretty interesting. <coughs> what about it? So, uh... It's uh, basically uh, this. Uh, basically, it falls under the FPS category. It's uh, which is short for first-person shooter. Got it. Yeah. It can also be frames per second. Yeah, it can also be frames per second, but you know, in the gaming category, yeah. it would be. It's still technically both because. Yeah. yeah. Kind of yeah. FB. I'm at. <sighs> yeah. I get. All right. Okay, but like, how how did they how did they make it work? Cause like, what console was it on? It was, uh, I mean, so it, it was on the I'm um, on it, you know, an a, um, a, actual computer, and it and uh in two in like I'm pretty sure 2001, <laughs> yeah, 2001, it was ported to the PS2. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I I thought it'd be kind of like on a con on a console, for example. PS3. Like, four. Like, no, or not like. No, th- those those are a bit newer. Maybe more like the okay. SNES or Atari. or the <laughs> not nah, Atari, the N sixty four. You know, those have a bit better uh, graphics than the cla- older games. Yeah. Well, uh, the PS two. Uh, I think I'm um, uh, which is which. This is obviously because the PS two was re uh, re was released after the Nintendo sixty four, but it had much you know better uh better a uh, hand. I'm um, at. Uh, it had much graphics. better storage and graphics. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what yeah. else? Um, so, uh, l- let's just, uh, let, I, wow, we didn't even read a single word off of the script, did we? Uh, no, we didn't. No, we did not. Oh, yeah. okay. But, um, I guess. Yeah, so s- I, s- I guess we don't need this. No, we need that. Okay, okay. So, Ben, I know you have uh, the Random Reviews podcast, right? Uh, yep. Yippee doodles. Go so check it out. Ba- ba- based off of this, based off of Half Life, how how would you review it? How would you rate it? Uh. So, uh, I I mean, so I would rate uh rate it uh ten out of ten. It is very advanced for its time. It was the I mean, it was uh, the first. It was made on off of the its engine was uh is the gold source engine which was uh made specifically for that game the gold source engine it, it, um, is uh, a a uh, the gold source engine it is uh, work was worked off of the quake engine you know the mm-hmm. uh, the engine that quake ran on okay. yeah in fact we even have um, i fa- um, we even have a uh, alpha build dating 1997 uh one year before the game's release uh the, um that's a uh, um uh, that um is still runs on the actual quake engine instead of the gold source engine interesting so yeah. ben what do you rate it um since it's like now times like 2022 when games are getting more and more looking like real life I would rate eight out of ten, but if I rated it when it was released in like in nineteen ninety, oh, like compared to all the other games of that era. Yeah, yeah, compared to all the other games, ten out of ten. So if I rated it in nineteen ninety eight, ten out of ten, but now it's like a nine point five. Okay, just okay. because of the graphics. Well, that's the end. Uh, if y'all listen to the podcast, y'all should listen to it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Listen to Ben's podcast. Listen to this one. Uh, plug. Yeah. Also, uh, listen to my podcast. It's Bait Central. So yeah. everyone knows about it. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.